Well, it's like what we were talking about with Nickelback, right? There's nothing wrong with Nickelback. It's just, you know, it's like you ever been to, uh, I don't know, a Bed Bath & Beyond store? All right, so then you know what I'm what I'm talking about. What's that? No, I don't play hockey. Will you keep asking me about these things? It was golf, then it's something else. I don't know. Um, to be honest with you, the reason I wouldn't play hockey is I'm afraid of the the feet, the footwear stuff with the knives on the bottom of it. I just can't with that. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to be talking about how you can manage Copilot uh, for your Windows 11 devices, since that seems to be a hot topic. I keep thinking about the blade hitting me, and there would be some kind of issue with that. It just creep, creeps me out. I, I, I can't do it. Okay, so you manage Windows 11 um, with Intune, and you've been asked about Copilot because everyone's embracing AI. We want to talk to the robot. You're going to be asked to do one of two things with Copilot. You're either going to be asked to make sure the devices can support it and the policy is allowing it, or you're going to be asked to block it on Windows 11 if folks aren't ready for it yet, if the organization doesn't want to allow it. So we're going to show you how to do both those things. So what you'll see is on Windows 11, um, depending on the build, you are going to have Copilot right here on the desktop. Now, what's interesting is I believe it's commercially available machines that ship with 22H2. Copilot will be disabled by default. If for some reason it's already on based on a previously uh, deployed machine and that policy, you're going to want to restrict it. So we're going to show you how this works here in Intune. So the policies are slowly trickling out. For Copilot, as of right now, there is one policy in the settings catalog, and that's it. So let's start by taking a look at that. We are going to configuration profiles, create new policy, Windows 10 and later, settings catalog. So we'll give it a name, even though we're not going to save it, we'll just call it Copilot. And when we go to add a setting, we can search for Copilot. Okay, so we have the one setting for turn off Copilot in Windows, and it is a user policy. However, this is only one of the two available settings. Okay, to see the other one, which hasn't made its way here yet, we're going to go ahead and look at the Intune CSP page, which is kind of the instruction manual for all the policies. And we are going to make our way down to the Windows AI area here. Where is it? There it is, Windows AI. And here you're gonna see the other policy, disable AI data analysis. Now it's very important to note that essentially it says this policy, this CSP contains some settings that are under development. So um, right here, the first one, uh, and they're not super clear about this, but that first policy, I believe is the one that's only applicable to insiders at the moment. You have to be on an insider build and the Windows Copilot actually turning it off, that policy uh, should be available for most builds, um, but uh, they do not specify that. So I would imagine that's the case and we're gonna test that out. So we're gonna show you two ways to do that. So the first way to do it is we are just going to enable this, um, turn off Copilot. So Copilot is now disabled. We're gonna take that. Okay, so I'm gonna add a group that I have called Copilot Disable, and I believe only Luke Skywalker is in that group. Um, can't have Luke be talking to the computers. Okay, so if we go back to the test machine, which is logged in with Luke, I'm just gonna force that to sync. Okay, in the meantime, while it does that, let's head back to Intune, and let's take a look at how we would set the other policy. Um, so if we want to do templates, custom, if we want to actually set the CSP policy, we're going to follow the instructions that we see over here. And this is just like we would do any OMA URI policy. We have the, we have the policy, we have the format, the, uh, it'll basically tell you the allowed values, uh, zero uh, is off. So it's enabled one is a disable, um, and we're going to set both of these. So I'm going to say 
CSP copilot. Oh, say copilot. Yep. Wrong button. Copilot policy CSP. So we're going to add the first value, which is for disable the AI data analysis. And this is needed for certain telemetry coming from Copilot. So this is something, again, if you're using it, you're going to want this on. If not, most likely going to want it off. Disable AI data analysis. Analysis. It's a hard word to spell. Um, so the actual setting is user vendor Microsoft. And I'm going to put a link below to this page so you can see the policies config windows AI disable AI data analysis. Okay. And to disable it, it takes an integer value. So that's an integer and that's a one. It's kind of like setting a registry uh, item. So let's hit add. And now we'll do the second one. And the second one is for turn off Windows Copilot. And this will be the same thing. It's a user policy, vendor, Microsoft policy, config, Windows AI, turn off Windows Copilot. And that is also going to be an integer with a one value to turn it on. So we have those. Actually, we should probably edit the description so we know what we're doing. We are enabling. Enable. Uh, group policies have this weird, you're, you're, en you're enabling a disable. So you're allowing it to not do a thing. So it's always like you're saying yes to a negative. It's really messes with your head. Um, I'm going to add this to all users. However, I am going to exclude Luke's group um, just to not cross those. So this way we can just see what both of them do because I have another machine firing it up now too. So we'll take a look at both of these. Um, all right, so let's go look at the machine here. Oh, okay, so after some time, you could see that the policy succeeded for copilot for Luke. And that was the settings catalog one where we just said, turn it off. And I went in here and, um, after a quick reboot, it looks like it's, it's still on, right? Um, I can say, what is Microsoft in tune? Yeah. So it's still going, but what I did was on the device itself, I opened up the registry and let me uh, retrace some steps for you if we go to software microsoft um, policy manager current and then user so the user node is that's luke sid right there you can see the windows ai policy did hit and it's set to one so turn off windows copilot so it is set here and in intune but i believe even though it doesn't say in the settings catalog it's going to be the same thing that it says in the documentation where it's only applying to the insider preview. Okay, so we got some uh, room to definitely revisit once we have an insider um, edition of Windows, but at least it's pretty clear that, you know, um, we're gonna have options with Intune to control it. So again, if your organization is adopting it, that's great. You're gonna wanna make sure these policies are set to allow the device to do what it's supposed to do. And if we're not, and we don't want anything to do with it, but it's coming in a lot of our builds and we're provisioning with autopilot, we can stop it right from the beginning. So um, I am gonna do a follow-up uh, where we're actually gonna look at the results of a test device. And um, you know, we're just gonna take it from there. So stop by the Discord and we'll be seeing you. Five, four, three, two.